Irish Guide Dogs Association purchase these premises in Cork. They have been reconstructed and adapted for use as the first residential blind mobility training center in Ireland. The first two residential students have arrived for their four-week training course. Both Maureen and Jerry have been blind from birth. The students are presented with their dogs and it's getting to know you time. Jerry gets the feel of the harness and is already able to prepare Lassie for the road. Meanwhile, Maureen begins her walks on a clear footpath with the trainer still in control. Lassie guides Jerry through the obstacle course. Nearing the end of her training, Maureen is introduced to city centre traffic. Loose dogs often present problems for the working guide dog. And so, at the end of the training course, Jerry and Maureen leave for home and for a new life as guide dog owners.
Back at the training center, a new day has begun. Twelve months from now, these pups will commence their four-month training course at the center to become guide dogs for the blind. This film was made with the cooperation of the Irish Guide Dogs Association. Off you. You'll take it down the steps, will he? You will? Okay, let's see him. Let's see him. Okay, let's see him take it down. Oh, well, you've left his handle there. Where's his handle, Mike? Can oh, you spot sorry, his handle sorry. there? Sorry. Excuse him. There we are. There you are. Just shows that the, the guide dog training is fine. It's the guide dog owner that's the problem. That's right. <laughs> You're right there. He, uh, he remains aloof from people to a great extent, doesn't he? When he's in harness, yeah. When he's in harness, And he's yes. a fairly shy Slightly dog anyway. Aloof. Is he indeed? Is yeah. he indeed? All right, Ed, thank right. you very much thank indeed you, for coming on. Good night, Jason. Good night to you, Ed. Thank you. We'll take a break and come back to us. Well done.